welcome to Paris! Travelling direct from Edinburgh to Paris, Charles de Gaulle. Uh, we spent a bit of time in the airport playing games, having some lunch, and the children set up their Neo watches, which are from Vodafone, which allows us to track their location when we are travelling. And they got them all set up ready for going to Disneyland. Um, since they are collaborated with Disney, there are lots of different icons that they can choose from. I'm wearing my usual travel gear and my passport wallet thing, which is so handy to have when we put these back in. And we'll be down the stairs. Woo Those of you who followed us for a while will know that we touched the outside of the plane before we travel. I did this as a child and I've carried it on into our family life. Um, the children opened their presents on the plane. I usually do little gifts for them to open and always take a carrier bag to put all the rubbish to make it so much easier to keep our seats clean. Uh, we had a great flight and arrived at Paris Charles de Gaulle. We looked into many transfer options from the airport to central Paris and we settled on the simplest and most affordable in our opinion, which was a taxi, where there were plenty waiting to take us for a set fee of 62 euros. It was quite late at night, so we went directly to the hotel. We researched the best location to experience Paris as a family and after recommendations from many friends who had been, we settled on the Latin Quarter. We initially looked at Airbnb options, but eventually settled on the Paris Art Hotel, which had two adjoining rooms to suit our family perfectly for a very reasonable price. After dropping the bags and looking at the room, we headed off into Paris at night. It was so late, we looked to find somewhere that was open for some food and headed towards the area of the Seine and Notre Dame Cathedral. First wander around in the evening in Paris and it does not disappoint. Oh, it's just lovely. Notre Dame Cathedral. It is. Because that. Just like our topic. Just like our topic at school. It is just like your topic at school. Yeah. Found this lovely little cafe in the corner. It's a good it was exactly what we were looking for. They had French food for us to try and lovely wine, um, and it was still really buzzing and bustling. This is what we're drinking. So it's very late. It is half past midnight. So we're going to enjoy some vin rouge and enjoy the nightlife. It's a lovely place. We got some foie gras and some escargot. And then a share and platter. And some frog's legs. Mm. I think we can tell that you definitely had a fair share of frog's legs and snails. We're just delighted that we got to share this sort of nighttime experience with the children as well. They thoroughly enjoyed it, the staff were great, and they gave the children some colouring books to enjoy too. Do 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 J'adore Van Rouge. It's 2 30 in the morning. <laughs> Paris is still as lovely as it was a few hours ago. 2 30 in the morning, guys. I go back to the room, I have a long lie. Play brunch tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not sending that to the school, no. <laughs> yes, I'm looking through the Latin Quarter in Paris at 2 30 in the morning. And I said, 2 30 is it? What time is it? 2 21 in the morning. I have to remember to turn off that alarm at 8.30 because I'm not getting up at 8.30. Hello, Paris. Bonjour, Paris. Bonsoir, Paris. I mean, bonsoir, 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 bonsoir. No, bon nuit, bon nuit, bon nuit, Paris. Bon nuit. Bon nuit, bon nuit, Paris. I've got a bag.
So good morning. It was a bit of a late night last night, a little bit drunken, but it was really, really good. Children had a blast as well and we had the best night. And um, we had a long line this morning, which was always in the itinerary. And Steve and I have obviously done Paris before and done all the sightseeing. So we want to try and give the children a taste of Paris without rushing around and all the tourist things. So we're going to go and have a leisurely stroll, maybe take this, the tour bus round and go to a couple of the main places that they want to go to that they have learned about in schools, so like the Eiffel Tower and Notre Dame, which we did see last night, but we'll go and see it in daylight today. Um, so I am wearing my very, very French, my striped top. Um, I'm still wearing this bag. Oh my word, it's so handy. Because I don't have a pocket for my phone, I'm obviously using my phone just now. It'll go in there and it means I can access it really easily. Um, I've also got my berry, which Grace has got as well. So we're going to head down, I think. So looking out our window, there is a beautiful cafe. I don't know if you can see it. Don't want to lean out too far. Beautiful cafe in the corner. Typical French, just lovely. So I think we might go there for a quick, it's actually going to be like lunch because it's so like, um, rather than brunch but I think we're going to head there just now before we go and do um, some sightseeing today but nothing booked in the calendar today which means that we can just take our time soak in Paris let the children go where they want to go we can go in the underground and go to different places and just chill today which is going to be really nice and then go for a dinner en route home we're, we have got clothes I've packed dress clothes to change into for dinner but we've decided that since it's so late in the day we're just going to stay out and then come back at night um so we because we've got our, our special lunch tomorrow in the Eiffel Tower which we will dress up for um so yeah so we're going to head away and do that feeling quite fresh this morning which is quite surprising um and we are all ready to go I'm the last one to get ready so I better not take too long um but that I was setting out everything else for everyone else in the morning which is why I was late getting ready um, but um, I freshly washed my hair today as well, so I'll be playing with it to try and get it less poofy and then I'll be able to curl it for our lunch tomorrow. So I'm going to head off. The sun is shining, but it's not too warm, 16 degrees, um, so I've still got trousers on. Um, but um, hopefully it's not too hot um, in the city of love. Get us Come back up because I forgot my jacket. Yeah. It's a little bit brust blustery. Right, let's go, buddy. Let's go. I have Daddy, our Grace. croque monsieur and croque madame. Grace. They won't hear us out of the cars. <laughs> so, Steve just took a video of Bartley and I at the windows. It's this building here that's our hotel, and it's down here that you access it. Beautiful. Beautiful building. Croque madame. Bon appétit! Because we're going to wait to go to Eiffel Tower. So there are man ticket stations there, as you can see, at the left, but there's also these automated machines that we use to purchase our tickets. So we've chosen to use the metro to get around Paris during the days. So we are here for two full days um, using um, the Paris Visite ticket. Now you can select one, two, three or five days on this ticket. We're doing two days for zones one to three because our third day will need a further zone out to zone five for going to Disneyland Paris. So we're selecting two adult tickets here um, and then making another purchase to purchase the same ticket again but for the children. The fare is obviously a little bit cheaper as you can see by the price. It was 44 euros for the adult and only 22 for the children so they're half price um, for both of them sorry 11 euros each and then we just paid here and then they slotted out the tickets and we used those for the next two days um, for up to the zones one and two. So once they finish printing there'll be four tickets plus the receipt um, and then you just take them out from the very bottom slot here um, and you can tell the difference between the tickets because the children's ones have got on form written on them. I'm putting it around this way. Pop it in there. Okay, three. Right, so back there, Grace, you're...
just got close to it and it'll open. Beautiful streets of Paris and then turn around and there's the Eiffel Tower. It's still exciting, even as an adult, the children are so excited. We're on our way to go and walk towards it now. We're just taking some pictures with the lovely street in the foreground, which is just beautiful. I love that. Very French. So there's security entrances now. You go through there and you get a metal detector. And then it takes you into the centre section, which you used to be able to just walk into. And now we're on our way to go underneath the legs climb to the top. So you can buy tickets for the lift online before you come but in order to do the stairs the whole way up, well stairs to where there's and then and then the lift, this one here, stairs and then the lift, you can only buy it here. It always says it's sold out online and I checked as soon as it was on sale set an alarm and realise that actually you have to buy them when you come. So we're in a queue, hopefully it won't take too long, and then I head up to here. It says it's only, it only takes 15 minutes. <laughs> we'll see who it took to walk up to the second floor. We'll see whose uh, time frame that is. But it's not a bad view to be standing waiting. A drink here but we're waiting till we get to the front the top to get a celebratory glass of bubbles it's the first floor that we're at oh. looking down Whoa. Uh, it's madame brasserie's there on the first floor that we're having our lunch in tomorrow but we're getting a lift up there's shops all the way as well there's shops on the first floor too Okay, we're going to climb. Go ahead, climb up to the second floor. from the second floor of the Eiffel Tower. So once you get to the second floor, you can't climb any higher because of safety concerns. So the queue, like this, to get in the lift to go to the very top. What I would like to have there. After you finish the queue in there, Can we go, guys? Yeah. Up another little few steps. When you get the lift, it takes you to here, the top of the Eiffel Tower. Wow! Come on, this one. Pretty cool. Champagne at the top. Champagne and caviar. Yeah. White or rosé? White. White. 
French onion soup. This is my bestie Kirsten's favourite. She makes a really good one on her own. And this is one in Paris. Lovely. Look at that. Oh. Barclay has got an obsession now with snails after last night's dinner. So he's ordered 12 snails. This is his dinner. <laughs> his new favourite. And he tried caviar today at the Top of the Eiffel Fair, and that's also a favourite. Beef tatar with chips. Um, beef, burger, delicious. So Eiffel Tower and Candy Plus. Thank you, sweetheart. It's a hash. That's lovely. That is so tasty. Mm. <laughs> a choice of clothes for Bartley to wear. This has got a fancy dress and a red coat. So, second full day in Paris. We're all dressed up in our nice clothes because we are heading to have lunch on the first floor of the Eiffel Tower in Madame Brasserie. So we're all dressed up um, and I've taken, I'm wearing comfy shoes just now, but I've got my high heels, comfy ones on. But um, I've got my high heels in my bag. Um, and then we'll change into them before doing the rest of the day. So we don't have to go back to the, um, back to the hotel so we're just walking up this hill to head to the tube station and that'll take us back to where we were yesterday um, and we'll go and have a nice lunch so I've done my hair all curly um, and put on a bit more makeup today which is nice nice feeling a bit dressed up which is good um, and then um, we'll head off we're hoping to, hoping to do a boat trip down the Seine maybe the bus tour but we've got tomorrow as well before we head to Disney so we're trying to get nice and relaxed we've had a nice chilled couple of days no rush between things which has been nice um, so hopefully it'll be the same again today we're just gonna pick up a quick snack for breakfast on our way although it's kind of lunchtime <laughs> it's at 11 o'clock and we have for us 10 to 10 to 11 we have to be there at 11.30 for a 12 o'clock lunch. We're coming in here to choose something nice to eat on the way, just so we snack. So we're not too hungry when we get there. Uh, the pan au chocolat. We're on the the first underground and I'm having a warm show, show, pan au chocolat, eh, not pan au chocolat, croissant and the, the, uh, Steve and Bertley are having pan au chocolat and Grace has got some cookies for breakfast, very healthy, we're on holiday though, lady made a point and get me a warm one, how nice is that, everyone's so lovely. <laughs> well, there's a queue to get in for the first security line but when you've got the Madame Brasserie you get in this little bit here and skip the queue and then down to security. Beautiful blue sky, sunshiny day for our special lunch. All dressed up. So you head over to the Madame Brasserie reception, which is over this leg of the tower, um, and check in for your lunch before you head up to the first floor on the left. 
So they give you this e-ticket, which takes you on the left, tells you to the restaurant, and then you head over to this hut here, and that takes us directly to the left and up the tower to the first floor. So it takes you to the Pilier East, east and then you go ready to go up in the in the lift. So you've just got a small little queue to get in. We are actually early. That never happens. So it's in the UK about 11.41 on the 19th of April on the Wednesday and our lunch is at 12. So we'll make it in plenty of time. So once you come in here, you scan your tickets that I have, the yellow pink tickets, and then you just stand here waiting for the lift to come down. And I'll lift it open and we'll be able to get in and go up to the first floor. So the lift has arrived down and everyone that's come from upstairs down is exiting out the other side and then once they're exited the doors will close at that side and our doors will open. There's also a little man, I'm not sure if you can see a little man driving the lift like a pretend one. Here we go. So actually, for the restaurant, we got all the reservations for the restaurant. And the rest go further up. So it took us out a separate entrance here for the restaurant, and then taking us round this corner. Children, so they get to try everything. They've got children's menu, but they share everything. These are the children's ones. They're sharing. Right, then Grace, got a puzzle book. The things that are about Paris, you have to match up. On this one, you have to match up, and you Grace, where everything was on the map. It's a view from our table. Me and Daddy are going to eat half and half as well, aren't we, Daddy? Carousel's there, yeah, and the river's there. Carousel de la Tour Eiffel. This is Carousel here. Beautiful sunset. We are now walking to the bus stop to get the big bus to tour around Paris so we can see the sights and rest our feet because we're a little bit tired from yesterday climbing the Eiffel Tower and also the walking today. So we've got on our comfy shoes again, um, come out of our high heels and we are going to go and catch the bus. Um, we have just been um, to the grassy bit of the Eiffel Tower to get a good family a photo, we go on our bus ride and then we might not have time to do the same uh, river, uh, river boat today. The plan was always to do it tomorrow, um, so we'll aim to do that because we are getting ready to go to a concert tonight. So we want to have a bit of a rest, change our clothes, um, and get ready for Mac Macklemore. So we're about to do that. The sun is shining. It is hot. I'm wearing my tweed coat because I took it thinking it would be a nice cosy jacket if it was cold, even though I was dressed up. But it's actually really warm, so I think the bus tour is going to be quite hot. We're going to go in the sit in the top though. Um, hopefully get a nice seat um, hopefully at the front we're very lucky um, we're going to do one of the big big bus you see behind me we're going to do one of them which I think will be really nice
for you, Sonia. bus you get this QR code so you can download the app and um, you get headsets that plug directly in as you can see there um, into the actual bus but by downloading the app you get to see the stops you get to see the times that the bus will be picking up and um, you also get to see the route so that you can plan your next journey and um, so it's very handy to download and to have to hand and um, if especially if you're hopping on and off we were just staying on the bus and um, for this for this trip but if you were hopping on and off, you get to plan your journey and say, right, the bus isn't going to be here for another 10 minutes, etc. And it also shows you exactly where it stops and what's at those locations. So you can plan what you're sightseeing as you're going. Obviously, this is the Louvre. So, you know, to get off at this stop if you want to go and visit the Louvre. So it's very handy and it's a great way to see the, the city for sure. It covers all the main centre parts of Paris, all your main tourist stops. So that tour was lovely and it was very hot. We are now heading down the steps to the side of the Seine to have a wee walk along here. Hopefully get something to eat and drink before we head back to the apartment and get ready for the concert. We've just come down the steps. Beautiful. Just come down these steps here and we're going to see if we can go in here for something to eat and drink. Um, which is a moored, a moored boat. We are going to do a boat uh, trip tomorrow. This is just a moored boat to see if we can get something to eat and drink in here. Lovely bistro on the same. So we're gonna get something to eat. We're heading back to the hotel and getting ready for a macro. A beautiful Caesar salad. Merci, merci. merci. Beautiful Caesar salad on the banks of the River Seine. Grace is having a croque monsieur. Daddy's having a pork penny pasta. And I'm having a croque monsieur. Well done. Well, we've just finished our dinner in here. It was delicious. So we're now walking up to the metro to head home and have a wee rest before we head. But look at that, it's just beautiful. Feeling very full and <laughs> very stuffed. I had the Caesar salad, it was delicious. Um, and the children had croque monsieur and Steve had the pork um, special. And um, with penny pasta, so I'm feeling a bit full now, and we're all feeling a little bit weary. But we're gonna head back, have a wee rest, get changed into our jeans and our t shirts, and then we're gonna head and head on the underground again, the Metro 2, where the concert is. But the sun has been shining today, it's been glorious in Paris. Yeah, Place. Yeah. To stay. Beautiful streets, lovely little cafes. It's just lovely. Um, it'd been recommended to us as a place to stay with family. Um, and it's certainly a great location in our opinion.
that lovely area, didn't you? So nice, look at that sun setting. our third and final day in Paris. It's been very relaxed, and very chilled. But we're just gonna go and do a couple more things today. We're boat down the Seine. And I'm not really sure what else, but we'll see how we get on. Maybe the Louvre. But the children's main thing was Eiffel Tower. And I think after two days, we've spent most of our time doing that, so. They are very satisfied. That was all they wanted to do because they learned about it at school, but they was really keen on the architecture and the um, engineering behind it all. So they got to learn quite a bit, which is good. Oh, it's just beautiful. Sun is shining again today. It's supposed to rain later on, but that's when we're traveling to Disney. So it's not so bad. So we've packed up, checked out of the Paris Art Hotel and we are, we've left our luggage, they're going to keep them at a late checkout as well since they had a late night last night um, and they've kept our suitcases so we can have a day in Paris, so just having it nice and chilled um, as I said before, Steve and I have done Paris before so it's just really to let the children enjoy Paris um, and they've done lots of French speaking and they've been learning lots of things which is really nice and oui. in oui, um, I'm in very Paris a very French looking outfit again today, very comfy shoes and we're about to head aren't we? Walk along here, we're going to grab something to eat and then head along to get a boat tour um, along the Seine. Lovely sunny day again today, still a bit breezy though so you still need a jacket in the shade um, but it's lovely weather. We've been very lucky, we had rain just after we climbed the Eiffel Tower and there was a downpour, but um, that has been it so far. It's supposed to rain again today, later on, but we're going to be hopefully on the train on the way to Paris, uh, on the way to Disneyland at that point, so it won't matter. Really good, they've actually got explanations because obviously you can't go in just now until next year. Um, but the construction is part of the, the excitement for the children. You see it actually being repaired, which is quite special to see and to be here to see it, which is quite, it's quite impressive. You can actually see all the trusses when you're around the other side, you can see all the trusses that are being reconstructed. And um, Steve was saying that they're using, trying to get the same wood that was used originally. Quite cool, eh? It's a shame, obviously, the devastating fire. But impressive to see it being restored. Well, 
that is the restaurant that we were at the first night we got here. And there's the Notre Dame there. Did you pop? <laughs> we're now walking this way to the metro to go towards the Louvre. And then we are going to go on a river cruise. Then before heading back to the Louvre, potentially. Crossing over to the metro. We're going to buy our tickets for heading to Disney as well. Because we did two days, two zones, which was yesterday and, today, uh, yesterday and the day before. And now we're going to do for the further zone to take us all the way to Disneyland. There's some lovely little art shops just down here. It's nice just to walk along and take it all in. Quick stop for lunch before we go on the boat. to catch a boat on the Seine. We decided not to do the hour long cruise, so we're just going to hop on here and then hop along and then hop off again. We decided to take it as a good hop on, hop off. to go and hop on this one. We just ran, ran from the other stop so we get extra time. We're just going to hop on this one just now and get a little bit of time on the scene. There are bigger boats that we want to go on a smaller one. Wow. 
frozen trees that auto guide the river, which just means that you can find your way to the next uh, item uh, and also learn about the, uh, the pieces as well. So it tells you about the description of the piece. So I thought this would be really good for the children just so they can manage to get a full experience of the university. shopping and we're now heading back to get our cases and then get the metro and the train to Disney. I'm just going past the Louis Vuitton shop that's got this uh, painter painter, and then the dots on the wall. I'll put up a picture here we saw yesterday. We're just walking past it now. It's quite cool eh guys? Mm -hmm. 